The pandemic is raising so many health care concerns, and one you might not think about is kidney failure. I am joined by Dr. Zainab Ebjiolu. She is a nephrologist with the transplant program at Hartford Hospital. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Are we seeing more kidney failure as a result of COVID-19? Uh, yes, so that's, it's very interesting. It's very surprising that we're seeing so much kidney uh, failure with the COVID-19. We're seeing a lot of surprises with COVID-19, including the cardiac and the coagulopathy as well. Um, but yes, uh, some of the United States data is showing that up to 30% of patients in the intensive care unit are requiring dialysis uh, when they're on the ventilator. If you already have kidney issues, does that make you more at risk for COVID-19 or complications? So not necessarily. We're seeing uh, patients have uh, this acute renal failure with um, having chronic kidney disease as a comorbidity, but also in patients that have never had underlying kidney disease. Now, I would like to point out that patients are very sick in the intensive care unit. They could have other reasons for having um, kidney injury, low blood pressure, septic shock, dehydration, medications. But there is something different about this. Sometimes when on rounds, we find that there's, there's something that doesn't quite make sense. And what I wanted to talk about briefly was um, that the, there, are, there are theories that the ACE2 receptor uh, that's known to be on the lung, where the virus infects um, the lungs, are also found on the kidneys. So last week, um, they actually uh, published online from Kidney International, a very respected journal uh, in the nephrology community, about how um, in, in Wuhan, China, they actually found that they, they found coronavirus particles in the kidney cells. And they also found an elevated number, an upregulation of these ACE2 receptors. So there is more evidence now that the virus may be directly injuring the kidney. So, so we, we do see a lot of injury from other reasons, but there may be some direct injury um, to the kidney from the virus. That is new information. So do we know at all what the long-term effects could be on your kidneys if you've had COVID-19? Uh, so the, we don't know the natural history. Uh, we know that some people do get better and come off of dialysis. But what you know, even if you don't have COVID, when you're in the intensive care unit and you need dialysis, um, you can come off the ventilator, but you may still need dialysis for a period of time. So we we unfortunately don't know the natural history of how this will will turn out. But there may be some chronic kidney disease that we see as a result of this infection. Doctor, thank you so much for sharing that new information with us. So thank you. Thank you for having me.